Silver with Cot Doc. You can find us on our website or on Twitter or on YouTube. We're going to be uh, showing you how to install a gas spring on a striker cot this morning. And I have Larry here this morning who's going to be uh, doing all the work, showing you how easy this is to do and how you can save a bunch of money doing it. The first thing we do is remove, loosen a set screw in the yoke. Once we loosen the set screw, we'll remove the bolt and nut at the base of the gas spring. This may be with a Allen wrench or two hex head wrenches, or you may have a version that is a pin and an E-clip. The pin in the E-clip is a version like this, and you need to use care in removing the E-clip so you don't lose it. The next thing we do is to remove the rod from the yoke. We do this with a pair of 7 inch vice grips and just loosen. Some of these loosen very easily, some of them very hard to come loose. replace it with a new cot dot model SK7023HD which is a heavy duty gas spring. We want to extend the gas spring till its full length. We do this by pressing on the floor. We use a drop of ambulance cot lube. We screw the new rod into the yoke. Boy, that one's going in easy. Yes, that's the easiest one. You continue to screw it until we get movement in the handle, and the handle raises approximately one inch. Screw it in as far as you can get it till it stops. At that point, you want to raise it up, put the bolt into the base, Be sure to install the spacers, one on each side. At this point, I'm going to test the gas spring to be sure it functions properly. Go down, come part way up, all the way up, it's functioning properly. Now we'll tighten the nut and the uh, set screw. Tighten the nut up on the bottom and tighten the set screw and we're all through. I hope you found this video helpful and I hope that you'll uh, look for additional videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel and you'll find us of course on our website and on Twitter. Thank you.